Hey guys, Chicken Sandwich back again for another video. Uh, with this one, I'm gonna be making another two list, but I'm gonna be doing the different types of fries that you can make your French fries into. Last time I did condiments, and it went. So this time I'm gonna do French fries, and hopefully this one will went too. So let's start this list off strong. With you know what? Here's a good one. The smiley face fries do you get whenever you're in elementary or middle school? Now, back then, those things were really good. And me personally, I liked putting them on like ketchup or mustard or whatever I had as a sauce. And it made them start bleeding out of their eyes. I was the weird kid in the group. But uh, in all honesty, I think I got to put these in the D tier. They're not the worst thing in the world in terms of absolute goaded french fries whenever you're in middle school they're up there but right now i'm not gonna like get those whenever there's so many better options on this list that i can already see uh next up let's do waffle fries now waffle fries similar to the face fries you can put your sauce in them but what i don't really like to do that with these to me, these are just longer French fries, or like bigger French fries. Just they expanded it out. But despite that fact, I'm still gonna put them in high B tier. Waffle fries are some of my favorite fries to eat whenever I'm you know what? High A tier. We're bumping it up. They're some of my favorite fries to eat whenever I get the chance. But there are some fries that I think are better than them. So right now, we'll put them in A tier. I have no idea what some of these fries names are. Uh, fuck it, this one. I forget what it is, but it's a long, thick one. We're going to do that french fry. Now, honestly, I think I'm going to put that kind of french fry in high C tier. For... A couple of reasons. The main one being, it's just normal french fry, but thicker. Who doesn't like not a thick french fry? If you don't like not a, if you don't like a thick french fry, what's wrong with you? All right. This is like what potato wedges. That's fine. Those are a type of french fry. I can I can give it some rest. Oh, like smaller potato wedges. All right, now we're gonna be ranking st <laughs> small potato wedges. Uh, honestly, high D tier. See, unlike the smiley face fries, which just are hard to get, those ones are really easy to get, but aren't, in my opinion, made right for optimal sauce capacity, or even just eating it all. See, I'm a pretty big guy, which means I can eat those in one bite. I'm not going to get any sauce intake from that. With the long and thick ones, I'm going to get some sauce. Like, I dip that thing in ketchup, I'm going to get some sauce out of that. With these, I'm not going to get that. So, I have to put them in high D tier. Not saying that they're bad, but they just don't work well with me. Uh... I have no idea what that is. F tier. I want to say this is crinkle cut. So I'm going to say this is crinkle cut. Next up is crinkle cut fries. Um, Me personally, I feel like these are most similar to the fries I put in C tier. The, the uh, crinkle cut is a little bit more popular than the long and thick ones. But honestly, I got to put them below in C tier. I just don't find them to be as good as they could be. Mainly because it's just, it, there's really no difference between them and normal french fries. And the differences that are there are basically useless. So why even have those exist? Whenever there are at least two more options that are just straight up better than them. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying it's useless. Mid-C tier. 
I don't know what this one is either. All right, next two French fry types that are on this list are going to be really hard to rank. So uh, let's get to it. The first French fry on the list. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go with the OG. The OG French fry. Now, this whole video, I've been comparing most of the fries to this this one. I'm going to be real. I got to put it in mid C tier. Normal, long, thin french fries, they're pretty good. And when made right, are some of my favorite fries. But that's the key word there, when made right. Normally, people don't make them how I like them. So, because of that, I gotta give a mid-C tier. If you can get good ones, they're pretty good. But if you can't, they're pretty mid. And last but not least, one of my favorite types of fries. I'm just going to call this one the ring fry. I have no idea what the actual name is. But I'm going to tell you what. It's not getting F tier. It's not getting E tier. Or D. Or C. Or B. This is going below A. Those french fries, even now, are some of my favorite fries to play around with. Whenever I get them, it's super exciting to get, and they're amazing to eat. Are they good as waffle fries, in my opinion? Absolutely not. But, regardless, they're still pretty fucking good compared to everything else that's on the list. So, uh, these are my final uh, rankings in general. If you care at all about how I like my french fries made, then uh, you should probably care about something more important. Probably got kids. You should care about those guys. Okay. Bye.